most exciting question of all these years of talking to scientists, to students, actually didn't come from a scientist or from a graduate student or from college students. It came from a second grader. When I was giving a, a, a lecture, a, a very you know, simple lecture at a school to a group of second graders, a seven-year-old, eight-year-old girl stood up, raised her hand, and she asked me, but how do you know that life would look like on another planet? Life may not look the same as the life we know it. And to this day, I, there's no other question that match that because that's exactly the question we are struggling with as professional scientists. I'm Henry Sun. I'm an associate research professor at the Desert Research Institute in Las Vegas. I have been here for uh, just over 20 years. Before I came to DRI, I was working at the NASA Center uh, at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, one of the things we were discussing was uh, whether life could exist on the surface of Mars. Uh, a lot of people would say no, uh, simply because Mars doesn't have oxygen. Without oxygen, there's no ozone as we do on Earth that would shield the uh, very dangerous UVC, short wavelength UV, UV, from reaching the surface of the planet. So UVC, as we know, is very, uh, is very dangerous. It kills microorganisms uh, in minutes. And that's why you have a uh, UVC lamp in the, on the ceiling of a operating room in the hospital. For that purpose, it kills all bacteria on all surfaces. And that's the reason they were saying that life couldn't exist uh, on the surface of Mars. I was uh, questioning that, but I didn't have proof that that idea was wrong. Until one day, I was after I came to DRI, I was hiking in the de desert around here, and I was looking at the lichens that grow on the surface rocks and they don't look green. Lichens are microscopic plants. Plants contain chlorophyll. So lichens should look green. The lichens grow in the deserts are never green. So, so that question led to a very simple experiment. Uh, and, and expose it to UV, and then look at, the, look at the activity. And that led to a question, say, if this algorithm can survive UV, maybe algorithms on Mars could exist despite UV. I was wondering whether that pigment, that masking the grain, is the, a sunscreen pigment to shield the chlorophyll from, from, the, uh, from the UV exposure. So that idea led to a NASA project where we now we know uh, that the function of this pigment is indeed to shield UV. But not only that, they actually can shield uh, UVC. In other words, if these organisms were to exist on Mars, this is entirely possible, uh, despite of UVC exposure. At the very beginning, they were the only one, ones that are photosynthetic, they're growing on the surface of the planet. There's a lot of ocean, there's, there's uh, shallow water. They were the ones that are growing and doing photosynthesis, no plants whatsoever. Uh, plants came on the stage much, much later. They learned to split water. It's called oxygenic photosynthesis. Interesting. So they start to, to, uh, to make oxygen, and that changed the environment of Earth. Because in the beginning, there was no oxygen. So they, they were pumping oxygen into the environment that changed the ocean. The ocean chemistry was entirely altered. After the iron disappeared from the ocean and got up because of oxidation, and then oxygen started to build up in the atmosphere. So there was zero in the beginning. It's then oxygen started to build up in the atmosphere, and then 
oxygen breathing organisms now start to appear. So, so this organ that we're looking today under the rock did all that. This is the descendant of those organisms. So these lichens we have been studying now for, for several years, uh, we thought they would just be quite resistant to UV, but it was uh, so resistant uh, that we couldn't kill it with a small UVC lamp, the normal UVC lamp that we use in the hospital room. Even with the most powerful UVC lamp uh, that we could buy, it still take more than three months to, in, to kill it. Essentially, what it means is that, that UVC is not a problem. Uh, life has a way of overcoming uh, barriers. There may be other way, other reasons that life couldn't exist there. But if other conditions are met and life did originate on Mars, it would have figured out a way to, deal, uh, to, to protect itself from UVC, as it did on Earth. It, co it came a full circle, actually. By thinking about Mars, we actually understand Earth better. So that sort of answered the question that really was in my mind many, many years ago. That I didn't have a way to answering it, but now I do. So it's, it's, it's really just a curiosity, uh, 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 wanting to question uh, a conventional wisdom that everybody agrees to. And then one day, one day, unexpectedly, and, and on a hike, the answer popping in front of you.